is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? All right, that sounds good to me. I don't know about you guys, but I am always ready for a good goosing. Shake it, baby. Shake it, goosey. Shake that ass, goosey, yeah. And then he runs. Oh, he's a fast goose. He's a goose on the loose. And he's got the juice. Alright. Guess we're going this way. Would a goose attack a frog? That's a good question. I don't know. We'll find out. Press A to use your beak. It doesn't do anything right now. Maybe you have to be near an item. So, we got a, a boot. Oh, I see. A little icon will appear. I got the boot. Da's boot. Or you can drop or carry. Okay. A broken bicycle. Well, good to see that this game is very representative of real life where people are fucking pigs. Oink, 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 I'm a pig. And just litter in the woods for no goddamn reason. The broken bike, trash litter. I honk, 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 and I'm on the loose, oh yeah. I'm a goose on the loose, oh yeah. <laughs> Now, this is funny. I received a three dollar tip. First of all, this is someone claiming to be a stream regular. I don't believe it is. I think it might be someone impersonating them. So I'm not gonna say the name because I don't want this person to get a bad reputation or, or feel bad because it sounds like someone's trying to basically get them into trouble. But this person took me three dollars, and this is something that I will address on the stream because it's so ridiculous. I can easily address it and completely make this person look stupid. So a three dollar tip, and this person says. I never believed the haters until you had that meltdown over 20 bones. It shows an ugly side of your personality. The funny part is you're talented as a personality, but it's clear you're only about the money. Give me money, money. Um, it's clear you didn't listen to, to what I talked about, because he's talking about my Minecraft stream this last week. It's clear you didn't hear a word that I said. Instead, you probably listened to highlights from the assholes who literally edit what I say to make it fit their agenda. Okay. Dark Spirit Snort has invaded. Nice. It's obviously a troll. Snort. What an asshole. Oh boy, Emerald Six gifted a sub to Snort Burnell. Gee, thanks, Emerald Six. That guy's such a nice guy. Oh, DSP Gaming did 100 bit cheering to Trons. What? Oh, he said he said Snort Burnell backward. Trons Linrub. Wow, you're a clever one, aren't you? You're a real clever one to say a troll's name backwards. Why not? Why not? Pig Latin. Snort A Burnell A. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> there was no issue there whatsoever regarding money at all. In fact, as soon as the person involved had asked for a refund, on a tip, I refunded it immediately. The issue was that I felt this person, who apparently was supposed to be a longtime supporter, had gone behind my back and reported me to Twitch for something that I didn't do and reported me to PayPal for something that I didn't fucking do. Okay? Instead of being an upfront person and coming to me and saying, Phil, I have an issue with the way that it looks like you're going to use a tip that I sent you, that I sent you a tip specifically for one thing, and I would like to either have you use it for that or, or refund it. They didn't do that. They didn't even give me that opportunity. That's, you know, if you actually like someone and you trust someone, you would think you would give them that opportunity. Oh, I sent you a tip, but now he says he's not going to use it for what I want him to use it for. Let me ask him if he could either do that or, or give a refund because that's what it was for, right? Instead, reporting me, saying that I misused funds 
and did all this stuff without even any opportunity to express your your discomfort with the way I was doing it and a, a chance to remedy the situation is incredibly unfair. It's incredibly immature, and it's essentially a trap to get me into trouble, okay? That's what I was upset about, and I even directly said on that stream what really bothered me about the situation is that those who are longtime fans of mine know that I've been stabbed in the back by people who I trusted before. You know, longtime friends who I thought were my friends decided to not be upfront and honest with me about issues they had with me and my behavior. Negative, toxic behavior. And instead hold it inside and then only publicly air it in a fucking video to essentially roast me publicly later instead of saying, Phil, here's our issues with you. Please handle them behind the scenes, which is what a friend would do. So knowing that I've already been messed around with and it hurt essentially by people that I was very close with in the past, why would you then actively choose to go and do things behind my back without, again, telling me I had done something wrong and giving me an opportunity to remedy the situation? It was the same thing all over again. And yeah, it triggers me when that happens because I've told you guys, I've had a lot of times in my life people fuck me over. People screw me over, fuck me over for personal gain so that they can get something out of it or so that they can get out of a situation at, on my expense. I'm always the one who has to take it for everyone else. And, you know, you get to a point where you're just tired of it. You know what I mean? Um, It sucks, but that's just life, okay? Now, in regards to the situation that happened, what was it, Monday? I don't even remember when it was. Um, the whole thing was fabricated. Okay, I'm going to ignore the garbage shears that are just trying to bait me into stuff. I'm not stupid. I ran, bought into a gimmick because I'm stupid. Anyway, except for the fact that the person who had tipped me did actually have some issue with the fact that I wasn't going to buy the game that they wanted me to buy. And they did request a legitimate PayPal refund for their tip. But the rest of the story, meaning, oh, they reported me to Twitch and they were complaining to PayPal and they were trying to get me banned and stuff. All that was completely fabricated. But with the circumstantial evidence I had in front of me, which was basically this guy disp uh, was trying to get his money back from PayPal without talking to me first. And the fact that when he had submitted that request to PayPal to get his money back, at the same, very same time, a forum post emerged stating that he had reported me to Twitch and everything. That was an insane coincidence. You know, that's like a crazy coincidence. Just by complete chance, the dispute goes into PayPal the very exact same fucking time that the post goes up. Oh, I gotta take a sip. How can you not make two and two come together and think it's the same person? You see what I mean? Um... It was just complete chance. So it sucks that it happened that way. But on that very same stream... I apologize to the guy. That's 100% a lie. Once again, you're being dishonest. And you've shown absolutely no signs of changing. I said, if this is false... And it, this guy was not really doing that. Now, forum post wasn't from him. Then I apologize. This whole thing was was you know stupid. And essentially, that's what happened. And I had words with with the person behind the scenes, and he was like, "No harm, no foul. You know, you were trolled, and it's not your it's not your fault that you thought that. I would have thought that too. And so, don't worry about it. We're cool." It's absolute fucking insanity. The things that they believe that they're that dumb, they're that gullible that they would believe this crazy shit. It, the bottom line is, if you believe it. It's because you want to. The guy got his money back. We had already had his money back. It was never about money at all. So to the $3 tipper that, first of all, is trying to insult one of my, my stream viewers, congrats, you failed, because there's no way I'm going to read that out. And number two, you're completely wrong. If you had actually paid attention to the situation the other day, you would have actually heard what happened instead of just listening to idiots who spin it <clears throat> in a way to make me look bad and make it something that it never was. You would have to be a complete and utter fucking moron to think that it was about the money, when the first thing I did was refund the money. I smell salt. It was never about the money. It was about a trust issue of being respected by someone and being told up front if there's an issue, rather than being stabbed in the back repeatedly, which is what's happened to me in my life, and I'm tired of it. I'm just fucking tired of it, you know? <clears throat> so take it, dumbass. Take it and eat it. You're a moron. He almost got me toxic. He almost got me toxic. And then I got a $2 tip from someone saying, I have no actual real, real fans. Really? I have no real fans. Okay, that's how I've been around for 11 years. Uh, you know, that, that's how I'm still pertinent to this day because I have no real fans. Uh, you're a moron too. Congrats. And thank you for the $2 tip. So not only are you a moron, you paid me to show how dumb you are. <laughs> Y'all never get past it. I can tell you, I can smell the saltiness. I appreciate that. To me, a dollar. And says, you know, every time you say I appreciate that, you don't sound really appreciative. You sound like you're talking through a Wendy's drive-thru. 
First of all, that's false. If I sounded like I was talking through a Wendy's drive-thru, I would sound like this. Because the drive-thru sound like shit. Okay? So that's just fa a false statement to begin with. But, but, there is some truth to what you're saying. Because you're saying, essentially, you know, every time you say, I appreciate that, it doesn't sound genuine. You have to understand something, okay? Um, I'm a full-time streamer, and I rely on contributions on streams. And it's not, oh, one big contribution a day. It's hundreds of them coming in. You know, dollar contributions here and there. Um, it's very hard for me to sound appreciative when I say that a million times a day. You know what I mean? It is. That's. I think that's probably something that content creators and streamers struggle with is how do you how do you stay or sound genuine for something that you are forced to say ad nauseum repetitively over and over and over all day long. You know what I mean? Um, and you want people to understand that you are genuine because I am. I'm very genuine when I say it. I absolutely want to say thank you. For the money dummies because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs> wow. You know, for that, thank you very much for the contributions. You guys, again, are the reason I'm still here. You've helped me out so many times over the years. And, you know, that's why I, I get to still do the, what I love for a living. Uh, that's why I have the life that I have, right? Um, and I'm so appreciative of that. And I want you guys to know that. But how do I make that come across when I'm doing a live gameplay stream? If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera... I would do it, okay? I seriously would do it. And I'm playing six to eight hours of gameplay a day, and microtransaction contributions are coming in at a high pace, and I have to say thank you so many times. How do you make every single thank you sound genuine? It's tough. Trust me, it's not an easy thing. It's something that I, I struggle to do every day. Thank you very, 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 very much. And I hope that I'm at least getting better at it. But you're absolutely right. It's it's a tough thing. You've actually touched upon an actual genuine issue for someone like me. <clears throat> One of the things that's tough about the job. Okay? <clears throat> so, hey, you're actually correct. Thank you for the dollar tip. Thank you. Thank you. Really, thank you. Um, Joe to me, uh, did a 145-bit cheer. That makes it the top cheer of the day. He says, looking forward towards today's streams. Sucks things like that happen. I always find honesty is the best policy for anything. That's right. I think what it is, a lot of people are very passive aggressive. And what I mean by that is they're afraid of conflict. <clears throat> they want a resolution for something. Okay. But they're essentially very afraid to have any kind of conflict actually happen. I'll give you a perfect example here. All right. This whole situation that I had with my wife and this exercise machine. Uber, By the anyway. way, I am real. Just for yes. all the people who don't, who think I don't exist, I am real. <laughs> Lasted a month. A month. Where I got the runaround, I got the rigmarole, I got told one thing, I got told another thing, I got told one thing, I got told another thing. You know, we're gonna get a, a company to come out and pick this up, the company takes two and a half fucking weeks to show up, they finally pick it up, they don't return the item to Amazon, and essentially we're out hundreds of dollars because... <clears throat> And a birthday present for my wife because no one will do their job properly. All right. So I could have kept pussyfooting about and I could have kept being wishy-washy about it and said, okay, okay. So you want to know what I did yesterday? I called Amazon and the woman on the other end of the phone, very nicely I said, I said, I just want you to understand something. I've now been dealing with this issue for a month. This has nothing to do with you. I'm incredibly dissatisfied not only with the product, but also with the service you provided to return the product and with the way that you as a company have handled this whole situation. And I refuse to hang up the phone today until I get my money back. Okay? That's how I approached it. I was very upfront and honest with the woman. I told her the situation and I said, if I don't get my money back today, I refuse to hang up. I will call you a million times. If you hang up on me, I'll make sure I get a resolution today. Within 10 minutes, I had my money back. That's how easy it was. If you're upfront and honest... Nine times out of ten, you're going to get what you want. The problem is most people aren't willing to do that. They're so afraid of conflict. They're so afraid of an argument, right? Free! That they will beat around the bush and never be upfront and honest. And I hate that, you know? If you have an issue with someone, tell them. So that they can at least know that there's an issue. And if they actually are a genuinely good person... They'll address that issue if they care about the fact that you're dis you're dissatisfied or you're upset, right? If anything, if you express 
the truth about a situation to someone and the person blows you off or starts an argument or insults you or gets defensive, that's something negative about them, not about you. So even if that happens, what are you afraid of? All you're doing is you're exposing their own shortcoming, right? So why not be upfront and honest about something like that, right? And that's what's always gotten me in my life. The things that have hurt me the most are when people refuse to be upfront and honest with me about something. They hide it. They hide it behind their backs. They hide it in a back issue. They keep it pent up inside only for it to blow up later and hurt me way more than it ever possibly would have if they had just told me beforehand or before it was something that blew up, you know? That's really... That's really underhanded, and that's really being just kind of messed up, in my opinion. Like, no one who's a true friend or no one who's a true fan or no one who's a true supporter of anything would be dishonest, you know? So, I agree with you, Joe. Like, the honesty for me is one of the hugest things in a relationship, in anything in life. Honesty. That's why I strive to be upfront and honest as much as I possibly can with my viewers. Yes, there are some times when I can't be, when it means protecting myself from my family, from malicious parties out there, and I have to withhold information or I have to be, you know, deceptive about stuff so that we can protect ourselves. But outside of that, everything I tell you guys is true, you know? And that's hurt me a lot over the years, trust me. DSP, your um, friend thinks that you should get a job. So. Um, Retro Jim did a 50-bit cheer. And says, you seem angrier than usual. I hope everything is okay. I'm not angry. Uh, I'm not a any angrier than usual at all. I'm ready for a chill PUBG stream today. Salt. That's all I can taste is salt. Um, I'm ready for a fun interactive stream. Hopefully it ends up being fun, entertaining. We have to see what's changed in the game. Uh, you know, I'm not angry at all. I'm being, I, I think what it is, again, and so here you go, Retro Jam. <clears throat> when someone's being upfront and honest, oh God, they're angry. No, they're being honest. I think what it is, Retro Jim, you're just so used to content creators kissing ass and being so super happy on stream and acting like a, everything in their life is fucking perfect. That's never who I've ever been, right? I've never been like that. I've never been Mr. Sugarcoat. I've never been Mr. Happy Sparkles, Rainbow Unicorn Glitter. Hello, my children, to a world of wonder and joy. Ha, 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 ha. It's the positive stream. Ha, ha, ha. Um, I'm the honest dude. <clears throat> and I think a lot of people like me because of that. In fact, I've been told many times over the years. The only reason he's a po he's popular at all because he's a toxic fucking guy. But the guy's so dumb he doesn't even realize it. Like he doesn't even realize the stuff he puts out is toxic, and he doesn't know why people don't like him. That's how ignorant the guy is. People like me because of that. You're gonna get the real me. You're not gonna get some fucking character, some muppet on the stream. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Jumbio's titties, kid. Terry Mambo's... Well, let's see. So, if basically, if you're a racist, uh, bigoted asshole who constantly says insulting things on the stream to get a rise, or if you're a no-content, no-life, no-worth titty streamer whose only value in life is showing off your body for money, basically, you're a whore. Uh, oh, no, you can't make a living on Twitter, Twitch anymore. Oh, shucks. I know you're only here for the titties. So since you can't see my titties anymore, I know I'm going to probably, you know, lose probably about half my viewership. Sorry, guys. No more tits. Um, so here I am being honest, honestly and answering questions on a pre stream. You see angry. I'm not. I'm actually not angry at all. I'm just being honest. And I guess honesty in this day equates to anger for some reason for some people. But I'm not. I'm not angry at all. Okay. Fat Mr. Bo tipped me a dollar and he says, the tipper who said you have no fans is an idiot, I want you to succeed. There you go. And it's true, you know, I hate to say it, some people actually are that dumb, they don't actually think I have any, any genuine viewers or fans because all they do is they sit there in their little inner circle of, you know, defamatory idiots who only do this to get personal attention for themselves, you know? What kind of a person would make a three-hour video compiling things out of context that I've said over the years? An idiot who's looking to get shock value clicks and views on YouTube. Not someone who actually has a brain in their fucking head, whereas an ounce of positive creativity of stuff they could do for themselves. But when you make a video like that, you make it sound like, how could this guy possibly have any fans? Well, because you took, you know, low moments and out-of-context things from, you know, seven to ten years of content and put it in one video, right? Um, uh, instead of looking at the body of work that I've created in 11 years, most of which was very positive. So yeah, if you look at anything out of context and you look at only the worst in people, you'll probably believe everyone on the planet is horrible, right? But there are many... Genuine fans, genuine viewers who love what I do. That's why I'm still here. I wouldn't do it if it weren't the case. I, I actually said this. I said uh, recently, if I were just here for people to troll me and only, only people who cared about me were trolls, I would stop doing it. 
what? A silver-tongued talker, right? Oh, I'm just going to say it one way, and hopefully you'll believe it, even though that's not the truth. And that's literally what's happening here. The guy's a liar. The guy's a fucking blatant liar and lying to everyone. Because I want to feel that what I do is worthwhile to some people, and people are getting something positive and fun out of it. Okay? Okay. One cheer and said, play PUBG already. People are waiting for you to stop rambling. Uh, I'm not rambling. I'm answering questions. This is exactly how every pre-stream goes every single day. And if you don't like it, you can, uh, you know, go do something else during the pre-stream. This is nothing new. So if you're just now complaining, welcome to the past 2.5 years that people had no issue with. Uh, Modern Day Maharaja cheers. All you had to do is take the bike apart. I don't see what the big deal was. Um, you don't see what the big deal was. You actually wanted me to disassemble a solid unit and look at the gears inside and figure out what was wrong with it. Do you think I'm a fucking engineer? <laughs> uh, no. Laziness. I'm very sedentary in my lifestyle. Um, I don't move a lot. Being honest, I sit here on the couch streaming all day long most days. No, I am not. I was not going to disassemble the unit and try to rebuild it myself. That's one of the most ludicrous things I think I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and also, final reminder before we get started with PUBG. Um... The best way to contribute today is by tipping me. Please consider tipping me. That helps me out more than anything, and I really need the help right now. Top contributor of the day overall will get to name the skull, okay? The new skull decoration. Hilarious. Now I got someone tipping me a dollar claiming that someone asked for a refund, and I didn't refund them, and I insulted them on stream. Actually, in reality, I did refund that person, because I think I know who you're talking about. I refunded them, so you're full of shit. You don't even know what the hell you're talking about, idiot. So thank you to the Dollar Troll. Another Dollar Troll. Penne. Oh, penne pasta is great. I prefer penne. Because it's easier to eat. You, know, you got to slurp it. It gets all over the sauce. There's something to eat it properly. It's fun and delicious. But, 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 you eat it easily. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone. Like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.